importing luxury handbags for personal use and customs regulations. Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of our customs brokerage series. In today's video, we are going to deep dive into the customs regulations surrounding the importation of luxury handbags for personal use. So, if you're an avid collector or simply someone who loves luxury fashion, this video is for you. Importing luxury handbags can be an exciting experience, but it's important to be aware of the customs processes and regulations involved. One key aspect to consider is the requirement for a customs bond. A customs bond is a financial guarantee that ensures compliance with customs regulations, including the payment of duties and taxes. It is a crucial component in the importation process, as it provides a guarantee to Customs and Border Protection CBP, that all obligations will be met. The first step in importing luxury handbags is to secure a customs bond. There are different types of customs bonds available, such as single entry bonds and continuous bonds. A single entry bond is used for one-time imports, while a continuous bond covers multiple shipments over a specified period. The choice of bond type will depend on factors such as the frequency of your imports and the value of the goods. Once you have obtained a customs bond, you will need to file an Importer Security Filing ISF, for your luxury handbags. The ISF is a mandatory filing that must be submitted to CBP at least 24 hours before the goods are loaded onto a vessel destined for the United States. The ISF provides CBP with information about the shipment, including details about the importer, the seller, and the goods being imported. It is important to accurately complete the ISF to avoid any delays or penalties. In addition to the ISF, you will also need to provide the necessary documentation for your luxury handbags. This may include invoices, packing lists, and any other relevant documents that prove the authenticity and value of the goods. It's important to keep in mind that luxury handbags can be subject to intellectual property rights protection, so make sure you have the proper documentation to avoid any potential issues. Once your ISF and documentation are in order, your luxury handbags will be ready for importation. However, it's essential to be aware of any applicable duties and taxes. The amount of duties and taxes will depend on various factors, such as the country of origin, the value of the goods, and any applicable trade agreements. It's crucial to work with a customs broker who can provide accurate advice on the potential costs involved. Finally, after your luxury handbags have arrived in the United States, they will go through the customs clearance process. This involves an inspection by CBP to ensure compliance with all regulations. It may also involve the payment of duties and taxes, if applicable. Once your luxury handbags have been cleared by CBP, you can finally enjoy your new additions to your collection. In conclusion, importing luxury handbags for personal use requires an understanding of the customs regulations involved. Securing a customs bond, filing an ISF, providing the necessary documentation, and being aware of duties and taxes are all crucial steps in the process. So, if you're planning to import luxury handbags, Make sure you follow these guidelines to ensure a smooth customs clearance experience. Thank you for watching this episode of our customs brokerage series. We hope you found the information valuable. Stay tuned for more videos to come, where we will continue to explore different aspects of international trade and customs regulations. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell, so you don't miss out on any future updates. Until next time. Happy importing! See the disclaimer note below.